could hear it, can't you? No one in albums went like that record label gone. You just knock us another out in three months, lads, and the album is just bob off. No, you need to kind of take your time, I think, and let it, like a Sunday roast, you need to let it marinate, don't you? Do you know what I mean? We weren't really allowed in. We were only up the road. <laughs> Surrounded by fucking riot police is brilliant. <laughs> but while the riot police were there, we don't know where yeah. we were getting that. <laughs> so we had people rolling, burning toilet rolls into the woods. We had, you know, sound systems being set up willy nilly, people swimming in the lakes, it was, and me and Josie seemed to be the only people sober enough to kind of be trying to sort of stop this. Had about 10 minutes sleep in a spider infested teepee and, and then got <laughs> up and started worrying about what band hadn't turned up. Because as we rolled up to Radio 1 Villa at 27 minutes past six in the morning and I sort of jumped out the car and was a little bit ill into a bush <laughs> and my boss was like, what is she? And I was like, that. So I spent the whole time going, I love Norman Cook, he's so funny. Standing on a chair and dancing. I mean, it was dreadful, but we brought a Ibiza to the people. Yes, and <laughs> I guess with the production for us, rather than it being, we want to write a record that sounds really raw, really gritty, or a record that sounds perfect, we just want to write one that sounded real. 